Hey folks, uh, I'm here today to show you how you can get Cordy to read MIDI files. This, uh, this will work for both Windows and Mac. Um, if you are on Windows, just watch my previous video about how to get Cordy to speak with your DAW uh, using the Loop MIDI application. Um, it's the exact same principle, um, except you're just using it, you're using a, an, uh, a separate piece of software that doesn't come with the computer. On Mac, we, uh, we are fortunate enough to have a piece of software that comes with the computer. So that is, if you go into open up audio MIDI uh, setup, uh, go to the MIDI page. If it's not visible, go to, uh, uh, under the window menu, go to show MIDI window then double click on IAC driver. Okay, now you just have to turn IAC driver online and then in your DAW of choice you will see, in my case it's logic, uh, you will see that stuff turn on. So if I go to make a new project, I'm gonna add uh, just a software instrument. Okay, so now we have, I have a keyboard that's up. Uh, let me shrink this one down. So now what I need to do is I need to add an um, I need to add another track. Oops. Track. And this will be an external MIDI track and the output will be the IAC bus driver. We'll set that to all. Okay. Now the problem is uh, we're going to get a feedback loop. So the way to get around that, you have to go to the environment. You got to go to clicks and ports. Now you need to get rid of some so basically what's happening is the output of uh, IAC driver bus 1 is being sent to the input notes in Logic going back here and then that's going into this record enabled external MIDI track and being sent right back out into here so that's causing a MIDI feedback loop so we need to delete uh, this cable and now everything but bus 1 is what gets dragged so we'll do port one. I'm not sure what that is. MIDI is, I think it's the MIDI port on the virus. Virus is my uh, controller right now. If I had the Kronos attached, that would also show up here. Um, actually, MIDI is the, uh, I believe that is the Ewe's, uh, the thing I use to connect my Ewe. So, okay, here we're not getting a feedback loop. Okay, so now what we can do, um, now we can open up Cordy. Your Cordy for Mac. Okay, this is already set to the right device. If I set it on virus, we'll see it here. If I set it to IAC bus driver one, okay, we'll also see it from. So now what I can do is I can go. I can play some stuff. So that's there. Um, I didn't have to have this record. Um, I didn't have this to have this selected. Um, it's just because I had selected it to illustrate what this track is going to be going to and whatnot. So now I can go back here and I can just press play. And look at that. Now Cordy is reading MIDI data. And that's awesome. And that was super easy to set up. Uh, the only annoying part is every time you want to do this, you have to set up the environment so that way uh, the IAC driver does not get sent to Logic's input um, otherwise you will get a feedback loop. So you know that's a little quick workaround um, it's a small annoyance for a much greater uh, you know for the greater good a much greater uh, positive effect. Alright uh, yeah that's built into Mac super easy to set up um, you can do the same thing on Windows if you uh, follow my previous video where I talk about how to get Cordy to work with uh, to work with um, your DAW simultaneously. Um, awesome. All right, I hope you're able to find that useful and you can use it for all your uh, tutorial videos that you guys have been making with Cordy. All right, thanks for checking it out. And you can, as always, you can get it at www.cordyapp.com. That's C-H-O-R-D-I-E. APP.com. Thanks again.